What's going on people? Admin Rooster here. In my backyard for once, kind of doing some yard work, cleaning up. Um, there's a bunch of junk back there. You'll have to excuse it. It's it's an old house and every time we have a storm here in Texas, like it blows shit off the house and stuff. So anyway, I'm talking about uh, Pokemon Go today. It's on my mind and everyone else's mind and I kind of want to talk about the ups and downs and maybe what I'd like to see in the future for these Pokemans. But, uh, you know, first first and foremost, I see a lot of people complaining about, like, the content of the game. Like, as far as what qualifies this game, like the battle system and, you know, this, that, and the other. And here's the thing is, you know, I'm 30, so Pokemon is, you know, the first generation I played the heck out of growing up. Loved it, watched the show, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's not really a game. It's more of a scavenger hunt. You know what I mean? Like, there's not really a lot of gaming to it. It's just something to do to pass the time. Like, my wife and I have been playing the heck out of it, and a couple of, sorry, I got a notification, uh, and a couple of friends and I have, have spent, like, a couple of days, like, going around town and uh, finding these things. And I'm sure it's similar for everybody else, but it's it's like a just a way to get you out of the house, you know? And I think it couldn't have come at a better time. And I know this sounds silly, but... You know, here in Texas, in Fort Worth and Dallas, you know, we had some cops slain, unfortunately, by some jackass motherfucker. And, um, you know, the world and, you know, the mass murders and stuff going on, and I, I think, like, the world needs something like this. And I know that sounds kind of silly, but, you know, to me, it's bringing people together. Like, you hear about strangers coming together, and, you know, my friend and I went to the mall, and there were just, like, eight of us just, like, chilling around this water fountain at this Pokestop. Uh, you know, collecting these things, and it's just, it's fun, you know, it's, it's kind of just a peaceful kind of thing, so that's what I like about it, I mean, it's, it's getting people out, it's kind of creating this unity, um, now, that being said, I am on Team Instinct, and I do spread propaganda and talk big crap about the other teams, uh, just for fun, just to be stupid, but, you know, as far as the game aspect of it, I mean, it's really not a game, you level up, you know, the creatures are stronger than, than other ones, um, and that's cool. It's cool to be like, oh, well, I got one. My CP's, you know, 400. And your friend's like, oh, mine's 430. And so, you know, there's some competition, but it's not like, you know, I, I don't feel like I have to jump on it every day. And it's not a nuisance or an annoyance right now. Um, what I would like to see is maybe the battle system kind of get some kind of overhaul. I, I kind of prefer the menu system of the old Pokemon games. But I'm not sure they can do that. I mean, you know, that would probably, that would mean that, Everybody would have to be there at the gym to defend themselves, or the computer would have to select fights, which might work. I mean, they might have to select commands to fight back. Um, I think that might be a better idea because the dodge doesn't always really work, and, you know, it's just kind of a mashing thing on the screen. So maybe they'll, we'll get an overhaul on that, or they'll kind of rethink that. And another thing about the gyms is I've taken over a few gyms. Um, I don't like that whenever you beat a gym, the gym turns gray like if some douchebag parks next to me and he's just waiting for me to fight the gym he can take it over as soon as I like as soon as the gym turns gray so I won't reap any of the benefits for like doing all the hard work like some guy can just kind of steal your gym so I think they kind of need to figure it out to where like the player that last defeated the gym is sure to get a spot in the gym so people can't uh, nab your goodies away from you anyway um so those are really the only complaints I have. I think they're, you know, they're bugs and they're working them out. I mean, uh, I think it's going to be really cool. They're going to release some trade-in content soon where you can trade Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon with each other. And uh, it's cool, man. Like, people just kind of need to lay off because it's just, it's not really to be taken seriously. It's just kind of a fuck-off game for now. And uh, I'm sure, like, you know, the next six months we'll see some pretty cool improvements. But as far as it being a game, like, I don't think it's... I don't really consider it as a game. I consider it as that, um, I don't know if y'all are familiar with that geocache game. Like, it's pretty, it was popular here for a little bit where you have kind of like this magnetic box and you go to this GPS coordinate and it might be like on the side of a guardrail in a parking lot and you stick this thing in it, but you put like one of your possessions in it, like a guitar pick or something. And then you leave it there and then the next person goes and it's just scavenger hunt. So you always leave something in there and it's just, it's kind of a goofy thing. That's what the Pokemon Go reminds me of. And I kind of dig it, you know. Um, it's something to do when you're bored instead of sitting at home watching, you know, a Friends rerun or something like that. So anyway, um, that's my thoughts on Pokemon Go. I'm sure I'll have some 
some sequels to this. And uh, we will see you guys soon. Thanks for tuning in. And... Uh,